the witnesses, my servants whom I have chosen. Have you not heard? Have you not seen? It was I, the Lord God, who decided this long ago. Long ago I planned when I am now causing to happen. Come, draw near to me and hear this. I have not spoken in secret, but from the beginning and from that time, there am I. For I, the Lord God, will bring you back from captivity and guide you continually and satisfy your soul and draught. Then your light shall dawn in the darkness and your darkness will be as the noonday. And now I, the Lord God in my spirit, have sent the two witnesses. 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 from the dust. Awake and arise! Call unto me, saith the Lord, and he will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Behold, he is the Lord God. Is there anything too hard for him? Return, saith the Lord! Return unto me and break up your fallow ground. The Lord of old has said he loves you with an everlasting love and he will rebuild you. Will you not repent and seek his face while the day is still today? Woe unto you who say that evil is good and that good is evil. Dark is light and light is dark. Who desire to hear words that will tickle your ears and make you feel a false peace? If only you be willing and obedient. Then you shall eat the good of the land. If you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Hold fast! Overcome! Though you be tried by fire, you shall come forth pure as gold. Oh, that you were either hot or cold. I cannot bear you. The wheel in the middle of the wheel. 
He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. The Lion of Judah, the Lamb that was slain before the foundations of the earth. To take away the sins of the world. We have been anointed to preach the gospel. We have been anointed to set the captives free. We have been anointed to heal the brokenhearted. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Kill them. Satan! Thou shalt be cast into the lake of fire! Ah! It is not yet finished! We shall overcome! And they heard a voice from heaven saying unto them, Come, come, come up hither. beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. If only you will believe in Him, then you too can be saved. And so it shall be at the end of the age that the angels will come forth, separate the wicked from the just, and cast them into the lake of fire. Seek the Lord now while He may still be found. He has come that you may have life and life more abundantly. Call unto him and he will lead and guide you day by day. There is a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof is death. Repent, for all have sinned and fallen short, but the gift of God is eternal life. For God commanded his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And the blood that Christ shed shall cleanse us from all iniquity. Behold, he stands at the door of your heart and knocks. Open, and he shall come unto you. For what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his very own soul? But if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you too shall be saved. If you long for salvation, please repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I am sorry for my sins and I ask you to forgive me. I open the door of my heart and I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Help me discover the meaning and the purpose of my life and help me become the person that you want me to be. Help me do your will. Thank you for your love and salvation and that I am now your child, in the name of the Father, the Son Christ Jesus, 
and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now go and grow. Read the word and pray. Walk with God daily, and he will commune with you. Live your life to the fullest by the power of God, and rejoice that you are now a child of the King and more than a conqueror over the enemy. Be blessed in Jesus' name.